Hello everyone. Okay, so this is a few requests about this particular power supply and one of the answers to the questions is did I manage to fix it? And yeah, a few times. Because this this can run into uh, into issues and one of the first things I'm just going to answer first is down here and it's a little bit hard for me to see um, but I'll put a couple of pictures up because I've already managed to take a couple of photos of the resistors. Um, the smaller resistor is 47 ohms and the bigger resistor is 1, 1.2, 1.5 mega, mega ohms. So that's going to help one of you guys out. And for another one, this down here. Let me just zoom in. You see this bar here? There we go. Um, if I just shift that so I can show you a bit better. Now, this is where your terminals connect, okay? I seem to be missing a nut off the ground anyway, and then on the right here, but on if you were looking at it from the front, it would be the left, of course, is the negative, as you can see, the black wire going there, and then the other one, the, 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 uh, the, the live wire. Now, where they actually connect, it's rubbish. The actual connection is rubbish, and you might find if you're running high current, well, let me try and steady this thing up. If you're running high current, uh, that it gets quite hot there, and that's because it's not making a very good connection, there's a bit of resistance. So, that could be one of your points of failure because that's what happens on mine. When it gets, um, you know, if it gets warm and that just moves or bends or whatever, whatever happens then I start having problems there. And what I've had to do before is undo those nuts. If I can find a, do you know, I'm gonna see if I can find a spanner for it. I'll be back. Okay, so I think I'm still recording, yep. So you might be able to see basically that look, even though I do these up tight, and I do do them up tight, it, it just comes loose again, even on this side. I was looking for a spanner, but I don't have a tool to work, I mean, I'm a tool and I can, I, can, I can get it to sort of work then. And what happens is, look, well, if I pull this off, uh, I can get this bugger off now. Uh, maybe there's something keeping on the other side here now. And I think it's this. Yeah, let's take these off. Um, nothing else keeping that on there. I think they stay there anyway. I'm just going to be able to faff and mess with this. Ah, there we go. Faff and mess with it and see you get it off. Now look, this is part of the problem. Now, okay, I've gnarled this a bit. Now, I put the, the thicker connection in there and what this here, all it has is, if you can see just there, that's all it has for your connections. All right? So I just put on thicker bits of solder. I'm going to redo it again as well because you, know, you can see it's a bit crap. But that was a good while ago when I did that. So, and and I got it to work. Um, I mean, I did blow out the transistors, um, but this seemed to be more of a problem for me. Uh, this because it was just such a a rubbish connection. And if you, I mean, this is supposed to be carrying like it can carry 300 300 watts. Look at it. Look at those, those tracks, it's uh, 300, and I know, yeah, it does look gnarly, but when that's on, that's at least that, it, it's pressed into the solder look, and so it makes a decent connection there. There, it still doesn't make a very good connection, so I'll, I'll cut a bit of this off, and I'm going to put some more solder, oh, I'm going to chop a bit of this top bit off, I'm going to put a bit more solder around here, and uh, try and get it so it sits in, because you can see the line where it's actually sat in there and made a better connection there. But it is, um, yeah, even on the ground, I mean, look, that's, that's, that's the way they are. So if you are getting problems with it, where it seems like it should be working, but for some reason you've got no output, check this. This has been the culprit more than, oh, too many times. Too many times, so you know, have a have a good look at that. But apart from the rest of it, I mean, you know, I, I've given I've given this thing some abuse, as you've seen in my videos, where uh, you know, running those circuits, those uh, induction circuits, inductive circuits, 
um, and it's, it's, it's fared up. You know, it, 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 it has got there, but I think the, the biggest issue that it had was one, you know, when I was really taking the mickey out of it and used as much current as I could on that circuit, and I popped the transistors. We repaired them easy enough, uh, but it was always this then, giving a, a load of problems. So, but I know there's a few comments left, and I'm sorry that I haven't been really looking at my account over a period of time, uh, but I'm back at it now, so... Uh, this is why I put this video up, because I don't know how many other people have left these comments. I've seen quite a few, though, saying about they can't get this to work, it's got an output, it looks like it's got an output, but nothing's coming out of here. And that's what I found, was it's this, it's this thing, uh, the way that connects, it's absolutely terrible, really. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on and do mine again now, and try and find another, another nut. There's not a great deal to it down there. So there shouldn't be any real issues, but yeah, but yeah. Apart from that, you know, for the money, this thing's been all right. I mean, I've had it for years now, and it still works. I still use it as my, you know, my power supply, and um, yeah, it's all right. I could do with a bit of a clean out, as you can see, probably on the fan there. All that, all that crap on the fan. So I'll give that a bit of a clean while I'm at it. And uh, yeah, so I hope that helps somebody, and I'll. Uh, Look forward to hearing from you. If you've got any uh, any more questions, I don't want to keep taking it apart, though. Uh, like I said, those two resistors down there, I'll put pictures up, and I'll tell you what it is with the, with the photos. But one's 47 ohms, the other one's uh, between 1 1.2 and 1.5. That's what I was reading up on my on my uh, on my trusty meter. Here, so I'm gonna yeah, I'll take that as being good enough. Okay. See you in the next one, guys.